Today's video is going to start, uh, focus on Rails versus Ronkai. Now, Rails versus Ronkai are very important, and you may be asking yourself, why do I need to know that for step one? And the answer is pretty simple. When you're given questions on step one, they're going to describe the physical exam findings. And if you can interpret those physical exam findings correctly, then it already gives you an image in your head of where the pathology within the question may be anatomically. So after today's video, you'll be able to understand that if they tell you that there are rails or crackles or ronchi or wheezing, you'll immediately already begin to form a differential diagnosis, which will help you eliminate incorrect answer choices on your step one exam. So being able to be familiar with rails versus ronchi is an anatomy concept, and then you take it a step further and apply it to the pathology within the question. So we're going to talk about the main differences versus Rails versus Ronchi. First, I'll give you the normal, then I'll give you my mnemonic for remembering the difference, and then we'll summarize at the end. So with Rails, it's often used interchangeably with the word crackles. Now the Rails or the crackles occur at the level of the alveoli. Now re recall that the alveoli are the most distal or terminal portion of the respiratory tree or the respiratory system. So Rails occur at the most distal portion of the respiratory system, the alveoli. Ronchi, on the other hand, are going to be used interchangeably with the word wheezing. Now, ronchi, or wheezing, occurs in the large airways, or at the level of the bronchus, or the bronchi. So, again, in summary so far, rails or crackles occur at alveoli. Ronchi, or wheezing, occurs at the bronchus. So here is my mnemonic for remembering this major, major difference. Rails in the tails, ronchi in the bronchi. This is one of my favorite mnemonics because for the longest time, I had no idea what rails or ronchi were. So when I would read a, a question and it was a pulmonary question in the cue banks, they'd be like, blah, 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 patient presents with this, that, and the other, and crackles are heard at the left lung base or ronchi are heard in the uh, right middle lobe. So I took it upon myself to create this mnemonic and it's really gone a long way for me. I think it will for you guys as well. So rails in the tails. Tails refer to like the end, the tail, of the respiratory system. So alveoli are the like literally last thing involved in the respiratory tree, so rails in the tails. Ronchi and the bronchi is just beautiful. It tells you exactly where they are, and it's easy to remember. Now, the one thing that I want to point out that's not on this slide but will be in the summary is that rails are usually due to fluid overload or fluid accumulation. So if you have a pneumonia and you have fluid buildup in the alveoli, or you have pulmonary edema and you have fluid build up in the alveoli, you're gonna hear those rails, those crackly noises that kinda of sound like you're rolling crumpled up paper in your finger. If you have ronchi, it's typically inflammatory in nature. So people who have an asthma attack have wheezing because there's constriction of the large airways. Maybe there's mucus plugging of the large airways. That's ronchi. So ronchi tends to be more inflammatory and rails tend to be more fluid related. And if you can just remember rails in the tails, it'll make sense because in this image, if fluid accumulates in the bronchi, it'll probably flow downstream into the, into the uh, alveoli. So when you think of fluid problems, we really think of alveoli as dealing with the, uh, the brunt of that damage. So once again, rails in the tails, bronchi in the bronchi. So here's my summary slide. Rails are crackly noises. They occur at the level of the alveoli. They are discontinuous because if you've ever heard what the crackling noise sounds like, it's not one continuous sound. It's kind of like, it's a discontinuous, that's a, that's a rail. And it's due to fluid overload. A ronchi, on the other hand, is a wheezy type of sound. It occurs at the large airways. Remember, ronchi at the bronchi. It's continuous. So when someone has ronchi, it'll kind of sound like, you hear that each of those ronchi are continuous and it's inflammatory in nature. It's due to mucus plugging of the large airways and inflammation within the airways. So just remember guys, rails at the tails, ronchi at the bronchi. From there, you could take it a step further and probably remember all of the other details surrounding rails versus ronchi. And this is huge, huge for you because if a question tells you that you hear ronchi in the right middle lobe, then all of a sudden you can rule out things that are probably less likely. So you can rule out fluid accumulation at the alveoli and whatever would cause that. And you can start to think of a more inflammatory cause. Maybe this person has asthma. Maybe they're just mucus plugged. You never know, but it's going to help you get to the correct answer much, much faster if you understand the difference and the anatomy. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. 
good luck studying.